afternoon, Live Good family. Thank you so much, Ben. It's so good to see everyone on, on this week. Congratulations to all of our rank advancers and uh, all the people that are still pushing um, starting today, all right, for next week. I wanted to share this week a little bit about character. Okay, and I wanted to talk about it, it really, I think, is in alignment with what Trisha spoke of in reference to focus. Um, but I'm going to tell you a quick story, right? You guys know my son plays baseball. So we watched the Braves last night. We, we, we won that game in that series. And right after that, there was a show where it's some sort of sports show where the, the interviewer talks to different major league players that are no, they're retired now, but he speaks to them about their time in the league and some of the transformational moments in their career. So he was speaking to a guy who used to be a pitcher for the San Francisco Giants. And the gentleman was talking about how um, when he got drafted, I think he was one of the top, the highest paid players on the whole team, right? And, and they had really big vision for him as a pitcher, where I think in the 2010 year, the Giants went on to win that World Series. However, when they won the NLD West, right, their, their actual league championship, uh, and they were getting ready to go to the playoffs, they didn't, he was not one of the top four pitchers that they take to the playoffs. So he was devastated and he was crushed and he did not get a chance to play in the 2010 World Series. But when they won the World Series, of course, all members of the team get the World Series ring. Now we fast forward and he talks about how between 2010 and 2012, he began to work a lot harder and he would practice and he would focus more on what his true desire was. So 2012 came along, they won the NLD West again, that championship, and he was selected to be one of the playoff pitchers. Mm -hmm. And he played in the World Series in 2012 and he won a World Series ring there too. The interviewer asked him, which one of those rings mean the most to him? And he said, I have both of my rings sitting on whatever display, right, that he has. He says, but I'm going to be honest. It's the 2010 ring that mm -hmm. means the most to me, not the 2012 one where I played. The 2010 means the most because it revealed to me that I had to grow. It revealed to me that although I was an MLB pitcher, one of the highest paid, I still wasn't good enough at that in that season to be one of the top four pitchers that go and they play in the playoffs. I still got the ring, but in his own spirit, in his own heart, when he looked at that ring, he didn't feel like he was his best. And it was because of him not playing, not getting the ring, not playing, that it encouraged him to work as if he never had the ring to begin with because it wasn't about the ring. You think it's about the ring. It's about the accomplishment. It's about who you grow into during the process. And I know that we all hear that and we never like the process. We never like it. It doesn't feel good. We cry sometimes. You feel bad. You're comparing yourself to other people. You're thinking you're doing something wrong. You're thinking you're doing nothing right when you probably are. But the bottom line is that who you become in the process is the most desire championship and if an MLB pitcher can look at two World Series rings and say it was the one that I had to watch from home <laughs> okay it was the one that I had to watch from home that was meant the most to me not the one where I was on the mound guys what I'm trying to explain to you and live good is that Wherever you are in this journey, yes, you might think that the win is crown diamond, that the ring is crown diamond, or that the ring is diamond. What I want you to understand is that the process that you're in right now, that's, that is the thing that is going to build your character such that you then become the person that can actually appreciate the diamond ring, that can appreciate the crown diamond, whatever it is or whatever it's going to be. And so I just want to encourage you that as you stay and, and it only happens because you stay focused that's the point of what what i'm piggybacking from trish it only happens because you stay focused if the guy let me just say this one last thing when he when when they told when the manager told him he said they were in the locker room they were popping champagne because they just won the the west title 
the manager then told him, well, we only take four pictures. So why don't you go home, you know, spend some time with your family and basically get out of here. Don't even do all this celebration stuff so I can delay the news. Right. Just just go home now. He says he called his father. He said, Dad, would would you still love me if I quit baseball? Right. He's a major league pitcher. His team is going his team is going to the, you know, and his father says, listen, it would be a bad business decision. But I, I would still love you no matter what. He chose to focus. You could quit live good. You could. But the ability to stay focused and the ability to push through and the ability to say, no, I deserve it. The ability to say there's some things I need to work on. There's a, the ability to say, oh, I've got to twist and tweak some things. The ability to stay persistent, right? It's through your persistence that you achieve what you want. Your ability to do that is about your character. It's about who you are. And no amount of skill, no amount or strategy, I say, no amount of strategy, no amount of approach is going to help you get there. There's a phrase that says there's more heart than talent. And it's always the person that has more heart that is going to achieve the goal because it's very hard to defeat a person who doesn't quit. Okay. It's very hard to defeat a person who doesn't quit. So I want that to be you. I want the live good um, family. I want you to be the person that is, you know, metaphorically the 2010 pitcher that wins a world series, but is not, hasn't grown. And then in the 2012, the journey from 2010 to 2012 was where he believed that he was the most valuable pitcher in MLB. And I believe that to be true for everybody here as well. So stay in the game, guys, stay focused and, and grow because that is what's going to help you win the ring. So back over to you, Ben.